Okay, this is a Christmas card that I have, and these are the little boxes, and you can make a variety. Uh, sometimes I used just paper, cardstock paper for the bottom, and then save the decorative uh, card for the top part. And so the first thing you want to do is find a Christmas card, a nice cardstocky Christmas card. And you know what I really think is really cool too is that when you um, uh, have a Christmas card, you don't want to just stick it in a box but you wanna, you know, hang it on the tree or something, well, make a box and use it as one of your ornaments and hang it on your tree so that you'll always have a memory of whoever gave you that card. Okay, so let's get to work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take, move these out of the way, and I'm gonna give you, get some room here. And you wanna have a couple of items. You need to have a pencil. Mine has a bell on it. Matter of fact, this is my anniversary bell when I had my 17th wedding anniversary I used it. Uh, you want to have a like a pressing thing. I use this as a pampered chef cleaning upper thingy. I use that now for my uh, line creaser because we're going to do a lot of paper folding. And then I have this. This is a very interesting thing. I have this in my supplies and it's just a roller. And basically all you need to do is find something that can make a crease so that you can fold your paper easily. And then here's a scoring tool. You can also use a scoring tool to just use a ruler and line uh, that area so that you can crease easily. But I'm going to show you a real simple way of doing it without having to go through all this creasing. Now, when I first started doing that, of course, I did use the creaser. But this time, I'm just going to show you how to do it very quickly because you don't want to sit and make, you know, one box in 25 minutes or 30 minutes. You want to be able to get it done in five minutes or less. Okay, so that's what we're going to do today. All right, so the first thing you want to do is get your patterns that have a top and a bottom. And uh, right now I'm going to use my top. And so I'm going to use a pretty decoration on that side, but I don't want to draw on it. So I'm going to use the back side. I'm going to lay the pattern down and simply draw around it. Let me get my glasses on. I know you can't see me, but uh, I need to see. <laughs> so I got my glasses and I lay it down. And I will make my pattern, draw it out, and make sure you do all the little corners of it. And now the interesting part is this goes up, so you want to fold it back and draw the line into the cut line. Those are cut lines. So you go back like this, and then you draw the line for the cut line. Okay, I think that's it. It looks just like that. Very uh, different, doesn't even look like a box yet. So I'll take my scissors, and of course you need scissors, and we'll just cut it out. If we get real fancy about it, you can actually use a, a paper cutter and make it a real nice square, and it's probably a good idea. And the other thing too I need to show you, point out to you, is that if you get a nice thick card, a big fat card that's wide, you can do their top, and your bottom with the same card, okay? Uh, sometimes you have a smaller card that is about this size, you know? And then you, you, you can actually use a smaller card, but you're gonna cut into the back, so you're not gonna have enough to do with the back. But you can still make a card, even though the card is smaller for the top of the box. But uh, uh, then I used um, cardstock paper for the bottom. All right. So that's this part. I'm just going to set it here for right now. I'm going to set it, let me see. I'm going to set it right here for right now. That's the top. Now the bottom, I do the same thing. I'm going to use the same uh, card and draw out this. After a while, the pattern gets a little old, so you're going to have to remake a new pattern, but um, that's okay. And then you fold it up like you did the last one so that you can get your your cut lines in here. See, right in there. Oops. Like that. Okay. And we will just simply cut these out. Well, you know, I am actually getting ready for the Christmas season this year. I really love it. Uh, this time is going to be exciting because my son is moving from Alaska, who's been there for almost 40 years, uh, to Nevada, which is only going to be a hop, skip, and a jump from me. 
Okay, so here I'm cutting these little lines because this is the folding line. You need to be able to uh, go all the way, make sure it makes a nice, perfect little square. See right here in the middle, kind of keep an eye out. You don't want these lines to go here and up here. You want them to go straight across. You know, you want to make sure your box is going to have a good square bottom. And this one is a little off a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just cut this up just a little bit more to make it even with this line. And then this one right here, even with this line. Now this is the bottom. You want to make sure that the bottom box is smaller than the top. And there's been times where I'll make, accidentally make two tops and they don't fit. So see, they go like this, they fit right inside. And you know what I did in the middle here? This is really cool. I used those uh, makeup wipe offs and I cut them to size for the bottom of my boxes. Isn't that cool? Get them at the dollar store. Okay, so I put that in there so they're all ready to go. Sometimes you have to squeeze the bottom of the box just a little bit to get it in there, but it'll go. Ba, ba, ba. Isn't that cute? I really like this one. My mother loved Snoopy. So that's what this one is, a little peanuts box. Okay, now I am going to cut out the top. So I do the same thing. Make it, and of course the top, you don't cut as big as long as slits because it needs to be bigger. So you don't want to go as far as you did with the box on the bottom, but you still want to make it even. And then you have these little corners you got to cut. Just cut those little corners out. This makes the box form. Okay, and then here's the bottom. Now, if you'll notice, the top, the, the top little corner notches are smaller than the bottom because it makes it fit better as a box. Okay, so we cut these and then we simply fold and tape. There's no gluing, there's none of that. I just use, I use this tape. Uh, a friend of mine was working with me on um, a project and I go, okay, use this tape. She goes, uh, where's the one that you just pull and rip? <laughs> I had to laugh because this is a, a, a new current kind. You hit, the, hit this little lever like that and then the tape pulls out and then you hit this thing on the back and it cuts it. See? <laughs> <laughs> kind of a different thing, but hey, they're pretty cool. All right, so we use that tape like. All right, so now we have our top and our bottom. So let's start with the top. Okay, folding. The first thing you want to do is these long edges. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is fold this one straight down, just like that. Fold it straight down. And then to make the, uh, the side box, See how it has two edges right here, uh, right here? You want to fold it towards you. And you want those edges to go right where that crease was that you just made. So the corners go right here. And then you just simply fold it in again so that you have this little thing like that that sticks up. That's going to be the bottom of the inside. You turn it around and you do the same thing on the other side. Make sure that when you fold it, that it stays straight along the lines here so you have a nice square box. And then you fold it again, corners to corner, right here. And you know, if you want to, you can also use this. I'm trying to do that, it makes a nice crease. And then again, fold it towards you. Okay, and you open it up. And now we're gonna do the sides. So you fold it in towards you and then you fold the side in so now here's an interesting thing you don't have to mark anything you just take this area where the line is and fold it towards you and make it even with the line right there see that that way we're going to do the same thing going this way so we fold it in and it makes that like that and then you open it up and you want to fold it towards you. Again, we want to connect this area with this crease. So you fold it in so that the corners match like that. And then you just fold it in towards you again, just like we did on the sides, but this is a longer one on each side. Okay, then we fold it out, turn it around, do the same thing. Fold it in. Line it up, make sure you line it up to this edge. You don't want to go in like that. You want to stay lined up 
and then you do the other side like that and then same thing you fold it towards you do you don't want to go past the cut line if, if you do it works still but it's best to try to stay where the cut line is see how that goes like that and then this side goes like that just right at the cut line this is a perfect box and then you fold it towards you now i'm going to use this press it down this is kind of a heavy card stuff so there's my folding now let's put the box together it's a quick flip of the switching here okay so you fold this in like this okay like that and then you move this in here and you move this in here and you hold it like that and then you turn it around and do the same thing on the other side hold it in hold it in like that kind of crease it in so that when it folds in it's kind of creased see how it's already starting to form a box and then you take the sides and slide them into each other makes a nice little makes a nice little inside see how that works and then you do the same thing on the other side now i'm pretty fast at it so see how i just did it it just kind of folds right in together if you need to tape it as you go go for it but you only need one piece of tape when we're done so now the sides all you do is you you bring it around and push it inside so that that little corner forms the bottom see there's that little corner right there and you do the same thing to the other side around fold it in and now you have and you kind of squish it make sure you fold it and now you have this box lid you take your tape you hold it down pretty good and you just stick a little piece of tape right inside and holds all those four corners together there's your top isn't that cute that's the top we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom set that aside and I want to have the inside be the ugly but I want the outside to have some you know best wishes so that it'll be seen on the outside so you want to make sure when you choose how you want it, your design to come out all right so we're gonna do the same thing Twala really quickly you fold it towards you and then you match the corners to the end of each cutting side and fold it in. Same thing on the other side. Make sure it's lined up straight and you want to make sure that it stays straight right here on each side. Okay, it makes a nice square box. I've done them where they're crooked, but hey, they still work. <laughs> so fold it in. All right. And now I do the sides, same thing. And fold it in. And then you fold it in again to towards you. I'm doing it away from me so that you can see what I'm doing. And then fold it like that. It's all about origami. And you fold it in again and side to side side to side sometimes if the paper is a little stiff i need to use that and then of course we go in match those corners up again when you fold and then fold in if it doesn't match perfectly you'll see here real quickly you'll see on this side that it kind of uh, folds over a little bit more than it's corner to corner and that's okay it'll still fit in there and fold in nicely all right now we do that side thing again -y. again <laughs> now we do that side thing again and we fold it in Make sure the little squares are in, like that, turn it around. You want to make sure that this goes in, make sure, increase it really good with your hands. And then slide these pieces into each other, makes that box.
Isn't that, isn't that amazing? I mean, how quick is that? Under two minutes. And then these sides go in, fold in. This side goes in, folds in. I get myself another one of these fancy little pieces of tape. They don't need a big piece, just a little tiny square. Make sure everything is tucked in and you just put your little tape right in the middle. Okay, let's see if it fits. How about that? Voila! <laughs> Isn't that cute? And then what you can do is you can actually put one of those little cotton things in. I showed you a minute ago. Put these in the bottom or a cotton ball. I've used cotton balls in the past, but this is flatter. So I put that in there, put the lid on top. You can actually poke a hole in the sides with a hole puncher and put a ribbon through it and hang it on the tree. You can actually just tie a ribbon around it and make it a, a present, stuff it in a, a stocking. But that's, that's it. That's how you make the little Christmas boxes.